Hey, it's Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how you can actually create code blocks inside of Google Docs. This is great for like if you're documenting your code, maybe you're creating some sort of software requirements document or some sort of tracking document for the code, and you just want to sh share snippets of that code and you want it to look good, as opposed to what you see here on my screen today, which is a really basic, just a cut and paste of raw text. You actually want it to look like a code block. And fortunately, by using a certain extension, you can actually make this happen. So I'm going to show you how to install the extension and then how to make the code block. So the first thing you want to do is go to extensions. You're going to click add-ons here and go to get add-ons. That's going to bring you into the workspace marketplace, which is where all the extensions live. And as you can see, there's a ton of them here. Fortunately, all you have to do is type in code and you're going to get the first thing that's come up is code blocks. Click that, and there's a couple of different options here. As I mentioned earlier, Code Blocks and Code Blocks 2. I've only used this one, which is Code Blocks by Alex Forsyth. And as you can see, it's had over five and a half million downloads. And my experience with this is excellent. It works exactly the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna click that one. I'm gonna come down here. There's three things you can do here. If you wanna see some more reviews, don't wanna take my word for it, but check out some reviews before you download, that's great. It also tells you the permissions as all extensions do. Google does a great job of documenting exactly what type of information, account information that these extensions are gonna have access to. And you definitely wanna check these out before, whenever you're gonna install an extension, make sure that it's not overreaching in terms of what it needs from you and that you're comfortable with the information that will potentially be shared with this third party. I don't have, um, any really proprietary information or anything inside my Google Docs. So I don't have a problem with them seeing my Google Docs. If this was a work um, or a corporate type account, that would probably be a much different story. But this is a personal account, so I don't care. So I'm gonna hit install. I'm gonna get a little install dialog box. I'll hit continue. And then I'm gonna pick my account. Then I'm gonna come down here, it reiterates the permissions. So whenever you install an extension before you actually install it, you get a, you have to give it permission for that extension to access your account in these ways. So I'm gonna click allow, and now it's gonna install. It's gonna tell me it's installed and that it's under the add-ons section. So I'm gonna done. And then now I can leave the marketplace by clicking the X. And as you can see here, I have my code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to extensions code blocks and start Oops, I'll try it again code blocks start and that's going to create a little sidebar here and there's a ton of languages here so the nice thing about this it's not specific to a language so as you can see there's a ton of languages here as i scroll through all the ones that you'd expect plus mark down some other things in here um, pretty much if there's a language it's probably in here i'm using javascript as i say he, as you can see here by this heading and by the code itself if you know javascript this is really simple JavaScript. And then what you wanna do is come over, highlight your what you want to format, there, click format, and as you can see, it is now a code block. And it looks pretty good, right? So if I undo, and I wanted to use a different theme, for example, let's say I wanted to, you know, I wanna use Adam one dark, and then I click format. You can see it's different, it's darker, it uses different colors here, and then maybe I want to do a different one. So let's say I'll use Monokai Sublime. Hit that one. And I can see it's red with yellowish uh, strings. So you get the idea. You can choose whichever one you want. The biggest thing is that if you want to change them, you really want to undo the code block and then reselect, make sure it's still selected and then change the code block. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you like this video, please click the like button. It does help my channel out, helps it to grow, and lets me know what you guys like and don't like in terms of videos, because I really want to make videos that are helpful to you as a community. If you want to see more of my videos, click the subscribe button. I make a lot of tutorials, and whether it's Notion, Google Docs, um, Google Sheets, Excel, I'm trying to think, Evernote, I make a ton of them, Obsidian, and please drop me a comment if you if there is a application or something that you want me to cover in a video, and I will potentially cover it. So leave me comments, let me know your thoughts. Uh, I want this to be a channel that helps people learn the things they want to learn. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.